So uh, the next thing I need to do is actually to install the actual agent on the Windows Server. I have here a link download thin backup agent. I can download download it from the CPM server, but to save time, I already did that in our case. So I have it here. The installation. The installation is a standard MSI Windows installer package. But I'm going to double click on it to perform the installation. I'll hit next. Now this is the development version, so there's no license yet, but you will have a license agreement, and we need to read read it, agree to it, and click through it. Installation folder. And here I define, I need to define the actual CPM server I'm going to contact or connect to. So I need the address of the CPM server. Let's, we can grab it from the URL here because it's the same server. Let's copy it. Paste. Now 443 is the port. It is the standard port for HTTPS. If we during configuration of CPM server change the port to be a custom one. We need to change it here also, of course. And we'll need the agent key we just created. So let's hit more options again and copy it and paste. Now we're clicking on next, install, and as you can see, it will take a few seconds. And if we're finished, CPM uh, agent is now installed here. If I'm uh, I look at the services here, let's just refresh it. We can see CPM agent server started and it will not interfere with anything. We no need, not need to do any other configuration for it to work. Let's go back to the CPM server. Let's hit the agents tab. And we can see the agent already connected. It connects from time to time to perform uh, keep alive. So it's already connected so we know there is connectivity between the agent and the server and uh, backup should work as planned. So the last thing I need to do for the backup to start is to actually define a schedule for it. So let's define a new schedule. Call it SQL uh, server sched. And let's l make it run every 15 minutes although it's, uh, it's very aggressive for a production uh, backup policy. But for the demo purposes, it's OK. SQL Server Schedule. And I'm clicking on Apply. Now to associate with the policy, I'll go back to Policies. Hit SQL Server and choose SQL Server Sched and Apply. So now I can click on Backup Times. I can see the next backup time is... Actually, it's like 15 minutes from now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a break and uh, return in like half an hour or something like that uh, to see the backups and to perform recovery. Thanks. Okay, I'm back after about 45 minutes, I think, something like that. Uh, we can see here in the backup monitor of CPM that uh, a few backups, let's just use the filter to make it even clearer. So we have three backups of uh, SQL Server. Uh, policy, they're all successful. As you can see, consistency says yes, means we have a consistency method, VSS in this case. If we'll take a look at the log, uh, one of the snapshots, one of the backups, I can see that the uh, backup started uh, managed by the agent SQL server. And uh, we can see that VSS has started, all the snapshots uh, completed successfully, and then VSS also finished successfully. So it should be fine. I can take a look, a uh, short look at the uh, at the server itself, and go to the application log. And I can see here that the uh, backup uh, database was backed up. So actually, there are events of uh, all the backups of the databases. Uh, this event is here because after VSS completes, it notifies. The application that the backup is complete and then applica the application knows that it has been backed up so that's also an indication